Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel today. This is Team Ride by P. Today we are going to draft a 12 pieces Amble Princess that bustier with mandarin collar, a sort of Chinese collar, as you can see on the screen. Please, if you like this content, kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive more videos like this, share to friends and family, also like this video too. So we'll be making use of this measurement. We are using the shoulder measurement of 14 inches. So I'll be transferring this measurement, I'll be dividing it by two because we are working on one part of our body. So I'll be taking, I'm going to make, create a line, which is the shoulder line. So uh, this is my shoulder line and this is the front, center front, because we are going to concentrate first on the front bodies. So we'll be taking our vertical measurements now. And these vertical measurements, I'll be starting it from the shoulder line. So the very first measurement you are going to take is the bust point. I have the bust point of 11 inches on that bust of 14 inches, half length of 18 inches, and then the full length of 26 inches. I'm going to repeat this on this side to get a straight line. So I'm done placing my shoulder line, my bust point line, under bust point, waist and full length. So now I'm going over to my shoulder line to create my shoulder length. That is my shoulder of 14 divided by 2 because I'm working on half of the body. So I'm marking 14 divided by 2, I have 7 inches here. So from this point of 7 inches, I'll be dropping my shoulder slant because the human shoulder is not uh, as straight as this, so I'll be dropping it with 1 inch. Then I'll come over to my neckline. I'll be making use of the neckline of 3.5 because of the mandarin color shape on the picture. And I'm also going to take a 3.5 shoulder depth. Then with my French curve, I'm going to connect these two lines together. So I'm done creating my shoulder line now. Then I'm going to connect the points up of my shoulder to the shoulder drop. I'll be connecting it this way. Now I'm going to take the measurement of my armhole depth to get my chest line. So I'm going to use my bust of 39 divided by 6 plus 1.5 and I'm having 8 inches. So I'm going to take my measurement from this point down to where I have 8 inches. And I'm going to square my line. So on this point of the chest line, I'm going to place my tape this way. I'm going to repeat the measurement I have from here to here, which is 7 inches, so as to get a straight line. So I'll be placing my tape this way to the point of 7 inches. Then I'll square my line. So having done that, I'm going to find the midpoint of my armhole, armhole depth. I have 8 inches here, so I'll be taking 4 inches. Then from this point of my 4 inches, I'm going to go in by 0.5. So I'm going to place the measurement of my bust on the chest line. My bust circumference divided by 4, I'm going to place it on the chest line. So I have a 39 inches divided by 4 and I'm having 9.75, that is 9 3 quarter. So I'll be making a mark of 9 3 quarter here. 
so from this point i went in by 0 0.5 i'm going to connect this point this and this now i'm going to place the measurement of my bust pan that is the measurement of one nipple to another nipple then we are going to divide it by two because i'm taking the measurement from the center front so on the bust point line i'm going to place my tape from the center front and I'll be taking 8 divided by 2 because I have my bust pan as 8. So divided by 2, I'll make a mark of 4 inch, inches. I'll come over to my under bust. I'll also make the same mark of 4 inches. I will do that at my waistline. And then at my full length line. So I'm going to connect these lines of my bus pan divided by two but before i connect my line i'm going to from this bus point i'm going to come up by 0 0.5 inch and i'm going to come down by 1.5 inches to accommodate the bus so that there will be no points at that point so from this point of the under bust, I'm also going to come in by 0 0.5 and on this, sorry, on this side, on this side, I'll be coming in by 1.5 and on this side from this point, I'll be com going out by 0 0.5. I'll also do, do the same this way and from this point, I'll go out by 0 0.5 and on this point I'm also going to come in by 1.5 so I'm going to connect from the bus point I came down with 1.5 then I'm going to do connect my line this way and I'll also take it this way then from this point also i'm going to connect my line to the 1.5 so i'm done connecting these points so i'm going to shade it so coming to the armhole remember we are drafting an armhole princess that so I'm going to take, place my tape and take the measurement of my armhole down to where my bust divided by 4. So I'll be placing my tape to get the accurate. So the length of this armhole, I'm having 10.25. So I'm going to find the midpoint, which is 5.1. So I'll also place my tape to get the position of 5.1 and then I'll make a mark so from this mark of the mid arm hole I'm going to place my ruler this way to connect this line this 0 0.5 we took up from the bus point then to the 1.5 I'm placing my ruler this way so I will be blending my edges so that there, there won't be any sharp point at all no sharp points okay so now i'm going to go over to the to the full length and from the full length remember we took three points sorry four inches which is half of my bust pan and from that point i'm going to come up with two three inches then from this point i'll be connecting to that three inches i'll also connect back from here so I'll, I'll be extending this line by one inch this will enable me not to have a shortage when joining this piece and this piece together so i'll be coming out from this point of my armhole i'll be taking one inch and I'm also going to replace this one inch. I'm also going to place it here also. 
then I'm going to create my new armhole line from here to here I'm creating my new armhole line so I'll be placing my French curve this way I'm using a red marker so that it will be visible for you so that is my new armhole line now created then we are going to take the measurements of our bus of our waist including our dart intake so you remember that from my center front this is my the mark of my bus circumference divided by four and then I added one inch to it because of the one inch I, I took out from here okay now I'm going over to my waist line on the waistline I have 35 inches as my circumference that 5 divided by 4 I'll be having 8 3 quarter remember I took 2 inches and I'm going to replace it so my 8 3 quarter I have my 8 3 quarter here then I'm going to add 2 inches to it so I have my new point here so coming over to my hip I have a 45 inches as my round hip then I'm going to divide by 4 I will be having 11.25 that is 11 and a quarter so I'm going to connect this line this line and this new line now I've done connecting my points on the bust waist and the hip including the dark intake that intake of two inches so now the next thing i'm going to do is to place my bust that because i'm going to manipulate or transfer my bust my bust that to this armhole right now so i'll be placing my tape on the bust points bust point line the difference between my front center front sorry my front bodies and the back bodies is two inches I will drop the description I will drop the drafting of it of the bodies on the description box below so I'll be taking two inches so from the bust point line I'm taking two inches which is the difference between my front and the back then I'll be dividing it by two that is one one inch and from this point of my one inch I'm going to place my ruler this way down to the bust point and I'll also bring it back to the two inches so I'll be extending this line by 0 0.5 that is three quarter to accommodate this that by 0 0.75 then I'm going to connect this point to this point. Then I'll take it back as you can see. So the reason for this is because I'm going to cut off this dart to create my armhole dart. I'm going to transfer my boss dart to my armhole. So I'll be having a zipper at my center front so that is why i have this one inch here okay that is my zipper allowance so from the neckline i'm going to extend my line and down to the hem line i'll also extend my line so now i'm going to cut so as to be able to transfer my dart so i'll be cutting from my neckline as you can see so I'm going to add my seam allowance before I close my bust that of one inch I'll take my one inch to the waist and then to the hem then I'm going to connect my line So this is my seam allowance now then I'm going to extend this line I'm 
so i've done adding my one inch seam allowance all through my pattern then to close this bust that to accommodate it i'm going to extend to one 0.5 inch that is three to three quarter three quarter of an inch from here then i'll also extend this one from this point to this point i'll be stopping here then i'm connecting my three quarter to this place then i'll connect it back to accommodate my my that so i'm going to I'm going to blend all these sharp edges with my curve ruler. Okay, make sure you blend all these edges because there is no sharp point. I'm going to blend. I'm blending these sharp edges. Okay. Then I'm going to extend this line because you are going to cut it off. Okay, I'm going to extend it. So now... I'll be cutting I'll be cutting so watch how I cut here okay I'll be following this line you see with the line I followed and look at where I stop please don't cut into this area it's part of um, our bust here so I'll be taking following this line I'm going to cut watch as i cut once i get to this point i'll be following okay remember there is no sharp edge this is my zipper allowance so from this point on the hand i will cut okay then i'll come back here I'll follow this line of my bust pan then I'll go in this way so this is what I cut out okay that is what I cut out from from this point okay I'll be discarding this this is the front the center front then coming to the side I'll continue cutting through my seam allowance when I get to this point I'll be following this line then coming to this point also I'll follow the red line and cut it off remember I extended by one inch so I'm going to cut off the extension this way now I have my center front and my side that now I'm going to close up this that so I'm going to cut off okay before I cut off before I close my that I just want to show you how it was before you remember I cut off this from here and I extended my line with one inch here now I'm going to close my boss that okay watch as I close it I'll be taking okay to align with this line then I will take I think you can see that is is well closed now so I'm done closing my boss that now, as you can see. So you can see that I transfer these two inches back to this point, okay? So now, remember we are making a 12 pieces armhole princess that. So it means that one side I'll be having three inches on the other side. Sorry, I'll be having three panels, the other side three panels. That's in front, I'll be having six panels. Then at the back, I'm having uh, six panels. So we are going to work on this panel right now to get one, two, three. So assuming I'm making the normal princess that uh, bustier, I'll just leave it like this. I'll add my seam allowances all over. 
this area then i will join but since it's going to be a 12 pieces that's three three panels this way three panels then at the back six six twelve then i'm going to work on this part now so i'm going to take the measurement of my waist divided by two and my hem divided by two then my armhole divided by two then i'll connect so from this armhole i'm going to take my measurements to the point before my seam allowance and i have six so i'm going to take the midpoint which is three so that is my midpoint and now i'll come over to the waist and i have 5.2 Five, that is five and a quarter and I'm going to take the midpoint at 2.6 then coming over to my hem I'll also take I have 7.25 then I'm going to take the midpoint which is 3.8 then I'm going to connect so I'm, I'm placing my ruler to touch this point this point and then to touch the midpoint here then i'll be drawing my line so i'm i'm done drawing connecting these lines so on the waistline i'm going to go in by 0 0.4 inch and then on the hem line i'm going to go in by 0 0.3 inch then i'll connect this point this point and this point Okay, I'll, I'll be uh, placing my cover like this way to connect down to this line. So I'm done connecting the 0 0.4 and 0 point, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 inches. You can. So I'm going to cut off this line. I'm going to detach this line, as you can see. So, but but now you can see that. I need to replace this 0 0.4, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 inches. I'm going to replace it here. But because I have my seam allowance already, I'm going to place a paper below. I'm going to attach this paper so that I can impute what I have here, replace it over there. So you can see that I took away 0 0.3, 0 0.4 inches there and I'm going to take it back to this point and I took away 0 0.3 inches and I'll still come here and replace it then having done that so I'm going to connect from this point to this point down to this point that is the replacement of this what I took off so I'll be placing my ruler my curve ruler this way so now I've done connecting the replacement of my dart now, okay? Because I couldn't have taken it just straight because the body is not as straight as this. So I needed a little dart here so as to fit in. Okay, so I'm going to cut off now from the my red line. Then I'll also cut off. Okay, I'll take it to the armhole, separating these parts. So I'm done separating these two panels, okay, and I'll be discarding this. Now I have my three panels. You can see one two three this is for one side of the front and it will be doubled that's making it six in the front but now remember we are doing a six pieces we cannot just join it this way so I'm going to add up the six pieces now so I'll be using a different paper to illustrate how I'm going to add for my extensions okay so i'll be working on the first the center front first so i'll i'll be taking the measurement from i'm placing this paper from the waistline the extension is going to start from the waistline 
so as you can see i've just placed my paper and i made sure that from my zipper allowance i have six inches you can make it four you can make it five but i would love to use six inches for these illustrations then from this point i'm also taking six inches from this point i'll be taking six inches from this point i'll also take my six inches so i'm going to draw my line and from this point of the waistline i'm going to place my ruler to the six inches I'll also place my ruler here from this point of 6 inches I'll also place my ruler okay. so this is the extension now okay for the uh, 12 pieces so I'm going to cut it off so I've done adding my extension so you can see that these two edges are too sharp so it's not going to be like that I'm going to take an inch upwards I'll come over here and take one inch upwards then I'll with my curve ruler I'll connect the line so I'm done connecting the one inch line I'm done connecting the one inch line to avoid these sharp edges so I'm going to cut it off So this is our first front panel. So this is the first front panel. So we'll go back to the second panel. So I've done placing my paper under my pattern. Then from the edge of this paper, I'm going to take six inches, just as I took in the other one. Then from this point also, I'll be marking six inches. Then coming from this, the waistline, I'm going to connect, I'll place my ruler this way from the waistline, then connect to this point. I'll do, do the same at this point also. Then, So from this point now, I'm going to cut off, just as I did in the front, center front, I'll be cutting off. So this is it, I've already placed it, then but to eliminate these sharp edges, I'm going to take do the same thing I did in the first panel to eliminate. I'll take one inch from this point, then with my curve ruler. So I've done connecting the line. So I'm going to cut it off. So this is my first panel. This is my second panel. Okay, so I did exactly the same thing on the first and the second panel. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the third panel now I'm done with the panels so the very next thing we'll be doing is to add our seam allowances all over apart from the size seam because we've already added this and it's going to reflect here also so we are not going to add by the on the side seam but when, when you are cutting, you'll be adding 0 0.5 all through this way, all through this way, this way, this way, all over. And this is our zip allowance, you remember. So we are going to place our zip on this place. So now let us go back to the back bodies. So we are now on the back bodies now and i have my shoulder line my center back chest line and um, bust point line waist line then at the full length okay i took my measurement from the shoulder line to my chest line which is 9 inches 11 inches 16 and 24. remember that in the front bodies the full length was 26 but in this back bodies i have 24 and my waistline was 18 in the front bodies and here is 16 that is the measurement 
then i took it away by closing my dart with two inches that is 26 minus 24 that is the two inches i added for the bust dart so now i'm going to take my shoulder measurements remember i have 14 inches divided by two that is seven then i'll be coming coming down with one inch for my shoulder slope then on the neckline I'm still going to take 3.5 it doesn't change but for the neckline depth I'm, I'm going to take one inch here then with my curve ruler I'm going to connect then I'm going to find the midpoint of my 8 inches which is 4 inches then I'm placing my tape on at the center back front sorry at the center back then I'm, I'll be taking my bus circumference divided by 4. That is 39 divided by 4. I'm having 9, 3 quarter. Then I'll make a mark. Then I'll connect. Now it's time to put a bust pan. That is bust pan of 8 inches divided by 2. On the bust point, I'll be taking from the center back 4 inches. I'll also do the same to the waistline, 4 inches and then on the waistline i'm going to take one inch i'm going to share the one inch 0 0.5 0 0.5 which is standard for the darts for the back then from the waist from the hip line i'm going to come up by three inches as i did in the front now i'm going to connect on the waistline i'm going to take the the waist measurement divided by four that is the round waist divided by four and my round waist is 35 i'm going to divide it by four i have eight three quarter but because i put one inch for the dart intake i'm also going to replace the one inch as you can see then coming to the hip line i have a hip of 45 inches divided by four which is 11.25 and then i'm going to connect this point to this point to this point so i'm going to have a princess that also at the back it's going to be a back princess that and i'm going to take the measurement of my armhole then i'll find the midpoint i'm done taking the measurement of the armhole for the back and i have nine and a half so i'm going to find the midpoint okay this is the midpoint which is four three quarter and then i'm going to make a mark at four three quarter so with my curve ruler so you can see how i, I placed my curve ruler now okay so as to connect this line to the bust point that is my back that okay then i'll be extending it by one inch because when you are fixing this it will still short so i need to add one inch i'm adding one inch to it then with my french curve i will add one inch because of the one inch I took care, then I'll also connect just as I did in the front bodies. So I'm connecting my new armhole line for the back. And then I'll also take it back to my waistline. I'll be connecting back to my waistline. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do now, you know in the front one we have three panels so this is the first panel and we are going to share this panel just like we did before we are going to take the midpoint of this midpoint and the midpoint so i'm done getting the midpoint of the armhole the waistline and the hip line now i'm going to do the same thing i did to the front 0 0.4 and 0. Point, Sorry, 0 0.3 and 0. Point, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. Sorry, sorry for that. So I'm going to place my ruler on these two points. As you can see how it's matching. So from this point, I'm going to connect my line and cut off this line. 
so on this point i took 0.4 inch i'm going to add back the 0.4 inch and on this 0.3 i'm also going to add it back then i'm going to connect with my curve ruler from this point i'll be connecting to this point as you can see to add up for what i took then i'm also going to connect with my heat curve to this point you can see now so the next thing i'll be doing is to add my one inch seam allowances all through i'm adding one inch for seam allowance one inch for seam allowance then i'll connect back this is my seam allowance now i'm done with my back panels so this is the first second and third panel i'm going to, i'm going to cut it off but before i cut it off remember this is my center back and the human back is not as straight as this so i'm going to come up to the waistline i'm going to take one inch from this la sorry half inch and this half inch i'm going to connect this my half inch to my neckline this is my back my back neckline i'm going to connect from this point to eliminate the puffiness now i'm going to cut panel one panel two panel three after which i'm going to add the extension just as i did in the front bodies now i will do that so now i'm cutting the panels as you can see from once i got to the shoulder seam line i'll be following taking this line try to be very careful here don't cut off this line it's part of our panel then i'll raise my paper a little bit this way then i'll take it this way so these are my panels starting from the center front so you don't need to confuse yourself with these panels for the front, I'll be adding front one, that is F1, to identify your panels for the front, front two, front three. Then, what you need to do is to add your seam allowances on your fabric, okay? You are going to add 0 0.5, apart from the center front where you have your zipper allowance already, you are not going to add any, this is your zipper allowance, you'll be folding it in and then you add up your zip. Please don't forget to add your 0.5 seam allowances to join these panels. And on your on your hem, that's your full length, you'll be adding one inch to fold in, fold it in to your lining. And coming to the back bodies also, these are the panels. I'll be writing B1 for the first panel, B2 and B3 to identify your panel. So you still do the same. This is the same allowance for the bag because you are going to cut this in two. All of them you cut them in two. I have six pieces here, but you are going to du duplicate the six pieces and you are having you will be having 12 pieces for the back, 12 pieces for the front. So now we are going to go over to the mandarin collar. Um, I took my measurement from the center front to the so shoulder seam and I have 3.75. So I'll be working with 3.75 and for the front panel i'll be working with 5.5 inches that is from the front neck line so let's go over to that so for the mandarin collar i have my shoulder line that is where my front and back body is. so i have it as sh my shoulder line then this is my back and this is my front so I'm going to put the measurement of my front neckline, which is 5.5 inches. I'm going to place my tape this way. Then I'm going to mark 5.5 inches. Coming to the back, 
I have 3.75. So I'm going to take the measurement of this 3.75 from this shoulder this way. Then I'll make a mark. Now coming to the back, I'm going to square my line at the back and I will make take my measurements. I'll be taking one and half inch one and half inch then i'll come back to the shoulder and i'll also take one and half inch then i'm going to square my line so this is my center back and this is my center front for the band so i'm going to from this point i'm going to place my ruler at an angle of 45 degrees Sorry, at the center front, I'm going to come up first by one inch. Then I'll connect this one inch line to this line to this line. Then with my curve ruler, I'm going to place my ruler this way from the shoulder point to connect with the front. Okay, because the human neckline at the front is not straight like this. So we are going to go up by one inch then from this point i'm placing my ruler at an angle of 45 degrees as you can see then i'm going to go up by 1.5 let me take the measurement 1.5 i'll also use my curve ruler following the way i place this ruler i'm going to take it up from this point and i'll also do my connection So you can see that I have my zipper at the center front and there is no zip here. So I'll be cutting this one on full because there is no zip at the back. The zip is at the front. Now coming to this front, I'm going to curve my line. My I'm using my curve ruler to make this curve that you saw in front of the mandarin collar. I'm using a green marker to demonstrate this. You can see the curve now, okay? So now, this one will be cut on fold, while this one will be open, and then we'll fix our zip allowance. So this is the mandarin collar. Then I'm going to fix it right to, to the neck after adding my seam allowances. But before I do that, I'm going to cut it out. So I'll be cutting this way. You can I'm going through this line that is the color line okay then I'll be following the green line also so guys I'm done with the six twelve pieces princess that but with the mandarin color so don't forget to add your seam allowances. You have to put your seam allowances all over the piece. So if you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell, share this video to friends and family, and also like this video. For the sleeve of this pattern, I'll be doing it in my next video. So Subscribe and turn on your notification bell to receive the cap sleeve for this pattern. Thank you very much for watching.